Porter fight uh, Errol Spence in a really close, entertaining fight. I'm curious to see how you saw that fight because a lot of fans felt that Sean Porter won the fight. I, I believe, I believe Spence, ring generalship, skills, and I was in, 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 in Maryland uh, when Porter was in camp um, with Frashan, um training. I respect him and respect his father, and I've seen him recently. But Spence, I believe, pulled it out because of the knockdown. Take the knockdown away, I give it a draw at best. And whoever would have got the win if the draw wasn't there, I would have been cool with that. I would have been cool with that. But the knockdown, if you look at the score, gave Spence the fight. fight yeah. How did you see it, Fresh? I, I was there. I agree with him 100%. I mean, the only people who lost was probably Spence and Sean. Well, Sean, because the fans were entertained. That was a throwback fight. They put their heart on the line. And, you know, Sean pushed Arrow in a way he hasn't been pushed as a pro yet. So that really, you know, calls to what, what he brings to the table. And he's a dangerous fighter. And I was in training camp with him. But if it wasn't for the knockdown, like you said, I would have took a draw. And I would have been okay with whoever won. But I, they just got to run it back. Bottom line, they have to run it back. And I think Sean deserves that. And, you know, thank God Arrow's okay. Um, yeah, what would you guys make of uh, that accent? It's a miracle that uh, he, hey, he when, came out with just broken teeth and lacerations because I saw the video and he, he got popped out of the Ferrari, the front window. Yeah, but you know what, though? I mean, everybody everybody has the choice of who they want to give credit to. Some say miracle, some say luck, some say fortunate, some say it wasn't his time. I say God is good. Yes, oh, yes, I say Allah to Akbar. So I don't want to give any other thing a credit for what the law can do. And the law wasn't ready for him now, then. And hopefully, um, us um, as people that want to enjoy life as we worked hard, understand the speed of what we buy is crucial. I took a car back one time because it had 200 miles per hour on it, and I know I'll never do half of that. Yeah. So, why do I need that power? What kind of car was it? What kind of car was it? It's a race car, one of them. A souped up Porsche 911. Wow, those are beautiful cars Turbo. too. I don't have that car yet. I'm gonna stay with Turbo. my Listen, Infinity. It's Turbo. It's Turbo S, supercharged, a supercharger. Yeah, that's right? a beautiful now, car. Now, it felt good. Yeah. On 95, you're on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah. 95, so you go straight to Miami, mm. Philly. You understand? Yeah. Right? If you want to. Mm. But somehow you get on that road. That's you're it. behind all that power. <laughs> and I got the sunroof open. And <laughs> here I'm doing 90, and it felt like 30. Yes. Like I didn't see anything. But then when I took a glance to my left, and I seen stuff like you couldn't picture what I was looking at like the trains or the trees was literally a flash that's when you know you're going fast yes. yeah <laughs> right when you look outside and you, you can't picture what you're looking at because the car is gone yes. so I slowed up and realized this is too much. that I should be in the third lane right the slow, the, lane? Car, uh, third lane. Oh, yeah, the, the slow lane? Third lane. The slow lane. The slow lane. <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't know where you live at. Well, the all the way lane, to the right, yeah. The third lane is normally oh, yeah, the yeah, lane yeah. That, that senior citizen. Oh, my God. And I am a junior senior citizen. <laughs> so now, so now, I don't look like some smug that's with a car that's powerful as a 911 Turbo S in the third lane. Anybody know when you're driving a powerful car like that, you're supposed to be in the first lane all the time. Yeah. And the only time you be in the second lane is only because the first lane is being clogged up by a 95-year-old driver that yes. forgot where the hell lane he is. I'm getting mad now. <laughs> Everybody that sees that video will be cracking up because they know they've been in that experience yes. yeah, they have. behind somebody. And then when they got past them, they look and they realize the really? senior citizen got really? the road and they're doing what they want to do because they earned that right. Yeah. What uh, would you take away from the fight between them two? Like, did you learn anything new from Sean or anything yeah. new from Spence? 
Well, I, I know at least Porter got guts. Earl Spence definitely got guts, but super talented. Their careers are long. They have big fights coming. And you know what? Boxing has short memories. Sean Porter come back, beat somebody valuable in the way of talent, and somebody people we respect. Um, it'd be on his record, but people have short memories. They, that Porter, that fight with Spence would be forgotten in the memories of what happened. Yeah, I don't Based think, on the credibility, because he fought a hell of a fight. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Sean lost anything. I, other than the belt. I think he gained. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's like, I don't think he's less of a fighter. Like, I think more fans respect him. And, you know, even some Errol Spence fans got to say, like, damn, Sean went out there and put in work. So, well, Spence even said that. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, a, it's a respect thing. That's the type of fight we need in boxing to keep growing. Because yeah, that's, yeah. that's, I grew up with both of them, like, on Team USA. So, I already knew it was going to be a, a tough fight, a, a great entertaining fight. But that's the caliber of fight fighters that's not just fluffed up. They're real fighters. The truth and Showtime, they're real fighters.